Just seconds after liftoff, an unmanned supply ship rocket exploded over a launch pad in Virginia tonight. The rocket was heading to the International Space Station. No one was injured. Now NASA is trying to figure out what went wrong. As Bagad Shaban shows us, cameras caught the explosion on tape. An unmanned supply ship bound for the International Space Station lifted off a launch pad on Wallops Island, Virginia, Tuesday night. But seconds later, it exploded, sending flames and shrapnel high into the air. There was a big boom on the island. You could hear windows shatter, and everyone was screaming. Something went wrong, and we will find out what that is. We will determine the root cause, and we will uh, correct that. The 14 story Antares rocket was built by Orbital Sciences Corporation. One of two private companies with a NASA contract to supply the space station since the retirement of the space shuttles. CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood says something might have gone wrong with the Russian made first stage engines. There appeared to be a detonation of some sort at the base of the rocket. You could see this, this explosion stopped the forward motion of the rocket, then it simply fell back down to the pad and exploded in a huge fireball. The ship was carrying more than 5,000 pounds of supplies clothing, food, science gear. Uh, spare parts, other equipment, uh, nothing that's critical to the health and safety of the crew, nothing critical to the operation of the space station, uh, but certainly it'll be missed. A survey of the scene won't begin until daylight. Crews are letting fires burn out and the site cool down before they start looking for clues. Begat Chaban, CBS News. A similar rocket failed during a test last May. A Russian rocket carrying supplies is scheduled to lift off for the space station tomorrow.